Hello, Pilgrims. I'm Colonel Failure, and uh, this is Depraved. Uh, now, uh, my intention today was to start off with everything having been fixed up and uh, the bridge built and, and everything back on an even keel. Uh, but, uh, but almost immediately when starting that section of progress, uh, the, uh, the trusted and loyal uh, Wilbur Carface um, was found uh, lifelessly dumped at the edge of the map. Uh, once again, having been killed by bandits. Now, uh, they don't call me CSI failure for nothing, uh, as I then tracked down these two jokers here, uh, who I have previously been told to uh, to do one. Um, and, uh, and it turns out that what they like doing, uh, just for laughs, really, is, uh, is abducting one of my people, killing them, and then dumping them at the edge of the map. Uh, so, uh, so before we get to uh, me fixing anything, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to round them up, hunt them down, and uh, and shoot them uh, with my my many shootists. Let's uh, let's engage the uh, the shooting department. All right, lads, everybody, mount up. I'm taking the lot of you. Kirkus, horse it. Uh, right, Dutch, get on the horse. There we go. Uh, clearly the. Uh, uh, the nature of Wild West justice is such that I'm going to need to do some Wild West. What are you doing in the hunt? Oh, you're armed. That's, okay, that's fine. Uh, right, right, you three. Come on, you'll do. Three on two. I reckon uh, I reckon we've got a fighting chance of coming away with a win here. Uh, at least I, I flipping hope so. Um, right, there we are. Right, there's two of them. You just disperse, if you'd be so kind. Uh, merging your horses together is... Uh, is filling me with uncalm. Uh, there are not enough workers. I'm not surprised there's not enough workers. I keep getting killed. Uh, right, there we go. And you three. Let's go find them. Uh, uh, where are they? There they are. Right, attack. Here we go. Showtime. Uh, lads are riding into action. Here it is. I'm going to deploy some excitement music now. Gang. You cease and desist your things that you're doing. Waste them. Alright, and then waste this guy as well. And uh and there we go. There's a there's a happy ending for all of us right there. Good. Right, that should put pay to that. Um I'm now going to uh, to advance the game a little until we've got things largely back under control. I'm going to use a lot of judicious air quotes in that previous statement. Stick around. So, returning to the action, we find ourselves back at the high water mark of uh, population of 22 people. Um, the, the, the time has passed uh, not without incident. As you can see, the bridge has finally been built, and, uh, and I've got Retro here uh, working a, uh, a perimeter guard on this end of the bridge. Uh, previously, uh, Yan was uh, occupying this area, uh, but uh, but unfortunately for Yan, he got attacked by a bear. Uh, we managed to dispatch the bear, but but Yan had to spend quite a long time in recovery. Uh, he's still alive. Uh, how functional he is remains to be seen. Um, other things that have been completed along the way. Uh, basically, we've we've moved forward by about a season and a half. Uh, so we we managed to get this uh, this secondary well uh, done. Uh, that's that's nice. Uh, not that water was a, a short supply anyway, uh, but we have actually been selling water to help keep some uh, some bucks coming in. Uh, and then we managed to get two more two more shacks up and built here, uh, both of which are now fully uh, fully populated. Um, and that means that that we're actually starting to move at a slightly higher pace once more. What's wrong with this dude? Uh, is he just hacked off or what? Is he? He's got cholera. Oh dear. Go to the doctors immediately. Um, and, uh, and clench your buttocks until you get there. We don't want anybody else getting it. Uh, Johnson, uh, sorry, Johansson Bakewell uh, is not well. Um, but, uh, but hopefully he'll be on the up and up in no time at all. And, uh, and that will be, that'll be tremendous. Uh, as you can see, we're actually turning a, a, a monthly profit now of 12 whole dollars, uh, which is, oh no, who's this? This is uh, Lionel Foe. Uh, let me guess, Lionel, is it cholera? Yeah, there's a, there's a shocker. Uh, if everybody could avoid getting cholera, that would be terrific. 
uh, cholera I've uh, I've heard uh, from quite a reputable source is a bad thing, um, and therefore if we can avoid that, so much the better. Um, so what I'm aiming to do at the moment is get another couple of shacks up and built. I've got uh, uh, these two still to do, and then one more over by the riverside, uh, which will take us up to uh, 28 in terms of population and a, a reasonably healthy uh, monthly income. Uh, I say reasonably because that seems like a fair word. It's not what I would describe as a lot. It's not a big monthly income. It's just, just it's okay. Uh, and then once we've done that, we will go once again to try and get the pig farm up so that we can avoid some of the, uh, the meat shortages that we had last year. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to afford to just keep buying stuff in uh, ad infinitum. We're going to have to... Uh, uh, we're going to have to be self-sufficient at some point, or at least turn into profit so that we can keep stuff coming in. Uh, I'd very much like to get a graveyard up, but frankly, that's two buildings to get a graveyard running. You need the, the cemetery itself, and uh, and then you need an undertaker as well. I mean, flipping heck, I mean, who'd have thought there was so much money to be made in death? Um, uh, so we're, going to, uh, we're not going to bother with that for the moment. Uh, we've got a surplus of horses as well, uh, while I think about it. Uh, as you can see... That's a lot of horses, uh, and I've got nowhere to put them. The stable, is, she is full. So uh, so at some point, we're going to have dead horses uh, just hanging around outside Town Hall. Uh, although, saying that, if you, uh, if you grab a horse there, let's just uh, let's, let's mount our militia, as it were. Mount the horse. There you go. Your very own pony. Uh, good, right, yeah, and then and then that way my militia are, are always in a state of readiness. Uh, Odell, who the heck are you? Oh, let's uh, let's hire him. I see no reason not to have an additional gunslinger on uh, on staff. Um, I mean, they've all been terrifically useful so far. Uh, I, uh, almost nobody has died on a regular basis. And I know. I mean, the other thing, quite a lot of people have died so far. Go and grab yourself a horse there, Kirkus. Uh, and then get back to work. Right, you, I want you patrolling somewhere re dangerous. Um, how about here? There you go. Go and, go and patrol around there and make sure that nobody else gets eaten by critters. Uh, we've had quite a lot of people eaten by critters. Um, some names you may have been familiar with died while you were away. Uh, sorry about that, uh, but it happens. This is, uh, this is the frontier. Uh, there was a corpse lying by the well for a while. I've, uh, I've yet to determine uh, whether that was any way related to the, uh, the cholera outbreak that we had. I'm going to say no. Uh, but, uh, but you can never be too certain. Uh, there we go. There's another shack up and running. Excellent work. Uh, good. So, yeah. So, if we can get all these shacks up and, up and, up and frisking, uh, we should certainly have the, uh, the, the manpower to, to get some, some progress made. Uh, if I was making much more money, that would also be nice. I mean, you know, why, what are you doing setting fire to your horse, Odell, if that is your name? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I need to figure out exactly how to get uh, a, a more sustainable income going. And frankly, I think it is going to be uh, uh, simply turning the whole place into a housing estate. I mean, there's, there's worse things that you can do, I suppose. Uh, but there you go. Here's the other shack that we're waiting for to be built. Uh, these bison don't give a monkeys. Look, they're just kind of going, I don't know what these big monkeys are doing. They're, uh, they're just... Oh, no. There's a... That, that was Steve. Steve. Steve, are you okay? Steve, you're pissed to have lost a bit of weight. And indeed skin. Uh, anyway, that's the, the inner monologue there of a bison, uh, should you ever wish to hear it. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, the, the second you start having some, some labourers available, I mean, look, here's a gang of five now, um, it really does pick up speed as far as, uh, as, far as your progress is concerned. Uh, Otis, go to the ruddy doctors, mate. Stop spreading cholera around the joint. Uh, that's not going to do anybody any good. And try to avoid giving cholera to the doctor while you're about it. Because uh, he won't take too kindly to that. And, uh, and frankly, neither will anybody else when they all die of cholera. Because we no longer have a doctor. Uh, Otis is a relatively newcomer to the town. And, uh, and therefore maybe doesn't understand the, uh, uh, the nuances of polite social... Uh, never mind, he's dead. Um, okay, right, well, there you go. There's, there's Otis 
dead outside the doctors. If you hadn't got cholera on the way into the doctors, you certainly will do on your way back out again. Good job, Otis. Well done. Uh, excellent teamwork. Uh, way to uh, way to way to soak all of that up for all of us there. Uh, who's that? Is that Kirkus? I told you to get a horse, mate. Get your horse and ride around town like you own the joint. You know, that's business as usual. Who's this? This is Clem Mix, the labourer. Uh, and part-time uh, lightweight pop act, uh, I suspect. Uh, right, okay, good. I think that might be my building queue almost done. Which is terrifying in, in and of itself. Uh, when I was playing Banished, I always used to find that I would, uh, I would rapidly uh, extend my building queue to the point that uh, I could never keep up with it. But here we are, and uh, and everything is constructed. So perhaps I ought to got to get something else queued up here. Now this this area here is ripe for a bit more farming. Um, now as much as as much as grain seems to be going quite nicely so far, uh, I can't actually do an awful lot with it afterwards, which is rather a, sh a sheep sheep farm, sheep farm, sheep farm. There you go. Let's say it all together. Sheep farm. Uh, if we stick this in here, uh, what about there? That's good. Yeah. Necessary supplemental feeding 10%. Hmm. Well, you never know. With the with the presence of a place that place the sheep farm, thank you. Uh, with the presence of a sheep farm, uh, we might actually start to get the cloth in, or the the, the wool, I should say, in to uh, uh, to generate cloth and therefore clothing now clothing if i can get that moving first it will make all of my residents a little cheerful um but more than that it will uh uh it will it will provide clothing as a uh, as a tradable good uh which will allow me to to make a, a few more uh, a few more bucks and uh, and expand further uh and i'm going to celebrate this by putting in a little house next to the sheep farm uh it's not quite the prairie uh, but it's a it's a little house on the farmland. Yeah, build it straight over the top of that burial ground for for whoever it was that was there. They they don't they won't mind. They're they're beyond it all now. Keep the houses coming because we're now up to a mighty fifty three bu bucks profit per month. Um, if we can keep that up, we may yet prosper. Look at all these labourers labouring. Happy labourers. Uh, I've also got builders coming out of every orifice now, and uh, and when you have a, a whole bunch of builders, uh, they're all quite happy to... There you go, you see it in effect here. Um, they're all quite happy to work on the same building, and uh, and they get it done in, in super quick time. Fantastico. All right, good. What are we missing here? So it's 58% done. We need two more bits of metal machine. I'm going to have to buy some more of that. Uh, that's the only thing that, at the moment, I can't produce for myself. Uh, and so that's costing me... They, they cost like 26 bucks a throw, which is far from cheap. Um, I, part of me is tempted to, to just buy a hundred of them now so that I am out of cash uh, and therefore have to make it work. Although, saying that, we can now make cloth. Oh. All right, that's less exciting than I had than I had hoped. Uh, but I suppose if we need cloth in order to do anything useful with that wool, then uh, then I should pr probably get that built. Then shouldn't I? Uh, where should we put the mill? I mean, over here looks promising. Uh, right, because this is a uh, this is a fine industrial complex we've got going on. Can we? Uh, can I rotate my camera angle at all? No, guess not. Then we'll just have to eyeball it from a weird angle. About there, up a little, and plunk. There we go. Right, good. Uh, now then, uh, the sheep farm, as you can see, just took 20 quid a month off me. Cheers for that. Um, but that's okay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll make that cash back again, I hope. Let's get some more shacks on the, uh, on the order. There's another gunslinger on the way into town. I don't know what they've heard about town and, and my apparent need for gunslingers, uh, but I, I, I'm tripping over them. 
Uh, gunslingers as far as the eye can see. Uh, now, several of you are going to say, like, get your saloon up, man. You need a saloon and a, and a, uh, a house for ladies of, uh, of low structural integrity, uh, moral-wise. Uh, the oldest profession in town. I uh, can't build it yet. They won't let me. There's the saloon. I need 40 pioneers for that to be viable. Now, we're getting there. We're up to 30. Uh, this, this second renaissance of Failure Wood, having come about due to, uh, uh, due to getting the bridge finished and, uh, and a couple of other bits up and running. Um, but we've still, got a, we've still got a way to go before we can saloon up and then have uh, you know the dog that's playing the piano uh, banging out a jaunty tune to keep everybody cheerful. Uh, while everybody drinks from very, very filthy glasses. I'm also going to need another stable, I think. Probably going to need... Who the heck are you? Leonidas? I'm not hiring you, Leonidas. All right, so, uh, so how about you clear off? I don't want you yelling, this is failure wood, before kicking someone into a well. Um, no, uh, do one. Sling your hook, mate. Get your... Get out of town uh right we're we're out of uh, of metal parts again so i'm gonna get some ordered by metal parts yes as i was saying is it if i were to order a hundred of these uh that would wipe out the last of my cash which would mean that i was then responsible for for actually making it back oh i i got i lost the opportunity to talk to the bandits you've got a cult you've got a cult you're both gonna have a very bad day pretty shortly uh regulators which is what I'm now calling you, chaps. Uh, Odell, get over here. Uh, who else have we got? Where are we? Uh, Dutch, come in from the uh, come in from the cold. Come and hang out with Odell. Over here, look. O over here, Dutch. Dutch, mate. Dutch. Yeah, you. Yes, over here. Come on. Let's go. Right, and you. Uh, I don't think I can group them this way. I want to. Uh, I want. To no, look. I want you. I want to form a posse. Deary me. All right, you two, come this way. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, that's two. Uh, we're going to need more than two. There's another one. There's a third. Right. Okay. Get over here. Come on. Honestly, organising cowboys is like trying to organise sheep or maybe cats. Cats is what people try to organise that are apparently difficult to organise. Uh, anyway, last time I allowed bandits to just roam free. Uh, they started killing people and dumping them at the edge of the map. I'm not taking a chance this time. Uh, we're just going to go out and scrag them straight away. Hello, chaps. Uh, we're here to tell you about the marvellous life insurance policies we have in town. Don't come anywhere near town if you're a bandit. Thank you. All right, lads. Good job. Get back to work. And that's how you deal with bandits. You shoot them full of holes... And then everything is just peachy. Uh, right, we've now got 14 metal bits in store. We're low on stone. We're low on wood. I am clearly going to need to build another stonemason and another lumberjack and another sawmill and, and all manner of other things. And that means that we are into the growth cycle uh, where, the, uh, where the town will continue to prosper onwards and upwards, uh, providing you keep building stuff. Now, once the weld weaving mill's done, and these four new houses, then we'll get our pig farm up and running. Uh, because that will... Well, I mean, and, and at that point, we are starting to get just a little close to being all out of cash. Uh, so uh, so let's, uh, let's slot you back in where I had you being built before. There we go. Good. And then anything else I can do... Oh, hello, what are you? Trading post. Uh, you can build transport goods from A to B. Not that helpful at the moment, but, you know, but thanks a lot. Uh, that's going to come in handy. Um, so, of course, our eventual aim is to get out as far as here. And, and to expand that far, I'm going to need to expand the borders of town at least another, I would say, probably two, three times. Uh, and it gets more expensive every time you do it. Um, but, uh, but once we can, once we can do that, then, uh, then we are properly in business. Look at all this water I've got in store. I mean, it's not like I use it for anything. We've got 
66 water in this. And we've got some guns. That's nice. Uh, if I could sell those, that would be lovely. Uh, maybe maybe water is our cash crop. I mean, after all, it falls from the sky. Uh, sell 50 of it, for starters. I know, it seems excessive, but we don't need it. It's not, it's not really serving any purpose, as far as we're concerned. Um... But okay, okay, I think things are gradually turning a corner. Uh, we're up to 32 citizens now. Uh, we'll soon be making cloth and wool, which would be good. Uh, potentially even generating our own meat uh, from more than just the, what the hunter can provide. Uh, but this is all going to take a little time to wait, given that uh, our building resources need time to build up. In fact, where are you currently focused there, uh, Buildy McBuildson? Are you, in fact, where, where are you? Anderson? Uh, Mr. Sauer, where are you currently operating? Just, uh, just you know, for my own information, just for our records. Because I, I thought you were, you were pretty much in your back garden. Uh, a thief has robbed the warehouse. Please hold. Which thief? Who are we looking for here? Someone has robbed my warehouse. Who? Come on, officers of the law. Find the person responsible and ventilate them. We, do, we can't allow the warehouse to get robbed. We need all of that stuff. Or, or else there will be peril. And, uh, and we will all be on the receiving end of it. A uh, resident of Failure Woods being attacked. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Uh, this is... Ah, that's, that'll be me robber. Oh, well done, Odell. You've served your purpose. Well, you know what we do, we're robbers. There we go. One less mouth to feed. Uh, I know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a brutal justice system, uh, but uh, it is nonetheless effective. Meanwhile, uh, Uncle Cholera here is still, you know, clogging up the front door to the doctor's establishment. Uh, right, anyway, that's going to uh, that's gonna wrap us up for today. Um, it almost feels like we've got something sustainable. I'm going to stress almost. Uh, we, you know, the sheep farm is up. Hooray for sheep. Uh, they need grain and water. Well, we do both of those things, so that's all right. Uh, maybe if we stop selling grain, that would that we have stopped selling grain. Good. Okay, good. I, I, I can't say anything more than that. Um... And uh, you know, we've, got a, we've got a positive income on a monthly basis now. Uh, it's simply a case of, of getting up to the point where, uh, where we make a lot of... There you go. Someone's uh, work area is, uh, is doomed. There it is. Doomed, I tell you. Uh, change your working area to somewhere where we've got at least a little bit of violence coverage. There you go. Get out over here over the other side of the bridge. It's, it's close enough that you can make an impact. Uh, yes, who am I? Colonel Failure. That's right. The game is depraved. And uh, so am I. What? Uh, subscribe so that you can catch up with some more later. And, uh, and hit the like button if you liked this one. And, uh, and I'll be back presently uh, with the next enthralling adventure of uh, Depraved and the Masters of the Universe. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!